Hi, my name's Tom Holden and I'm the author of Get Started in Filmmaking. I got into filmmaking by the tried and tested route of picking up a camera and just making films and that's the best way to do it. I think the greatest achievement I've had in my career so far, although I've had a lot of varied experiences in filmmaking, was quite early on when I was in my mid-twenties and I got some funding to make a film which uh, I filmed in the UK Austria and the Czech Republic with lots of first-time amateur actors and it was a wonderful experience and I learnt a lot. I think my favourite stage of the filmmaking process is the editing. While I do like the filming part, because that's an important part too, filming can be very stressful and sometimes you're just managing chaos on a set. When you're editing you can really take time to absorb what you've filmed because usually it's just you and the footage. It's a very uh, quieter time. And although you're editing to a script or a story, you often find that you are surprising yourself because as an edit progresses, it evolves organically and you're doing things that you didn't expect. And you can sometimes surprise yourself in very big ways. I think the creative and the practical are always at war with each other when you're making a film because when you write a script, you can have as many amazing ideas as you want to. You can have settings that are fantastic. You can have thousands of people. You can have things blowing up, you can have spaceships, you can have whatever you want. But when it comes time to make it, you have to think, okay, how much is this going to cost? We can't get that. We can't afford that. So I think the practical will always erode the creative. And I think there's a great quote from a member of the Star Wars crew, and he was saying about the filming of the Tatooine desert scenes. He said the reason we filmed in these locations was because it was uh, an hour away from the hotel. Simple as that. I think the best advice I can give someone who wants to start a career in filmmaking is to know exactly what job they want to do because there, there are hundreds but I think most people tend to go towards directing, camera or editing which is great and once you start getting knowledge of those things just by doing it with friends or you know just doing it on your own you can start to realize that there are other aspects of it so I think know exactly what job role you want to do and then just just do it. Okay, I'm going to give you a little demo in microphones now because when people are filming, they just instinctively think cameras filming. Yeah, that's important, but that's only part of the process because without sound, you're going to have a really bad film. No one's going to be able to hear what people are saying. So at the moment, there are two microphones. There's one on the camera, which is filming me, and there's one right here. I'm just going to tap it like that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to switch off the microphone on me and you're going to hear how bad the sound quality is because at the moment we're just using the sound on the camera. Now we're going to switch the one on the camera off and we're going to put this one back on. And then you're going to hear how good the sound quality is when you're using a microphone which is close to the person's mouth. That's a little snippet of how important sound recording and microphones are when you're making a film. 